I'm very pleased to uh, have you visit my uh, my webcam. Um, my name is Juliet Hahn. I have a PhD in organic chemistry from the State University of New York at Stony Brook. I postdoc at the University of Wisconsin Medicine and also at Columbia University in New York. Uh, I have a BS in chemistry from the University of South Carolina in Columbia. Uh, where I uh, was magna cum laude Phi Beta Kappa. I graduated from Irma High School also in South Carolina. Um, I, I would classify myself as an excellent teacher of general and organic chemistry. Um, I've, uh, I have documentation of excellent teaching in the form of teaching evaluations from students, from colleagues and also from deans and administrators. If you go to my website, juliethan.com, look for teaching evaluations, you will see the documentation posted. Um, I think what I bring to the table to uh, a, uh, a, a teaching position is that I have uh, a lot of teaching experience. I've, I've been teaching for about 10 years at the college level. Uh, and I've been teaching at a great diversity of geographical and socioeconomic level students. So, um, and, uh, and from these students, I have excellent teaching evaluations. Um, I think the one of the big challenges of teaching uh, general chemistry and organic chemistry is that despite the fact that these courses are the gateway to a lot of well-paying jobs, you know, medical school, uh, engineering, um, chemistry jobs, and uh, all these STEM-related jobs, a lot of students come in with an expectation of not doing well. Now, what happens when students come in not expecting to do well? Well, they don't do well. Why don't they do well? Uh, is it because they don't have the background or they don't have, uh, they're not intelligent enough? No. I think they don't do well because they come in expecting not to do well. And because they're expecting not to do well, they don't put in any effort. Uh, I think at the at the high school level, it's it's relatively easy, or at least it was for me. It's relatively easy to do well without really studying really all that much, just by being intelligent and um, and not really studying that much. You can do pretty well. I think the difference between high school and college is that at the college level, the most important predictor of success is that the student really puts in a lot of effort. Uh, so I think the job of the professor is to, uh, is to convince students that they don't want to believe the hype that general chemistry and organic chemistry are weed out courses and you're gonna do badly no matter what you do. You sort of try to get that out of people's minds and, and, and uh, inspire the students to actually put in the effort. Because if they put in the effort, almost every student, assuming a reasonable background uh, of, of uh, courses from previous work, almost every student can do very well. But they have to put in the effort. I think the other thing that's probably more important than, uh, than inspiring the students to put in a lot of effort. Uh, the other thing is, if the students don't come to class, it's game over. Now, if they come to class, uh, at least there's the possibility that, you know, you can explain things to them, uh, ask them to do work, convince them that they really need to put in the effort and they'll, they'll do well. There are all sorts of things that you can do if they show up. If they don't show up, there's nothing you can do. Uh, and I think studies have shown that students who don't come to class just miss all the exams and quizzes and usually don't, don't do well. Usually the students who, who flunk out of classes are usually the ones that 
just didn't come to class. Um, so what do I do to make students come to class? I do fun things. Uh, you know, I, I throw in jokes. I, uh, I go over fun e examples during the lecture. I do everything I can to make the class experience fun. Um, and, and the other thing that I do is uh, I, I do this interactive, what I call interactive teaching. And what I mean by interactive teaching is I think everybody who's taught uh, class knows this concept of, you know, you're teaching a class, to, you're teaching material to a class, and you look at the students, and you cover an, uh, something really well, and the, the, all the, the, the eyes in the class light up. I think everybody who's taught uh, knows this, this feeling. Uh, so part of it is watching the students as you're going over the lecture material and trying to see whether they're understanding the material or not. Uh, but then there's also other things that I can do. Uh, for instance, at my, uh, at my most recent faculty position, uh, we had access to clickers. And what's good about clickers? Well, for one thing, it, it takes care of that other problem of, of students not coming to class because if you give points for clickers and, and, uh, and you ask a question every class period, then the students have to show up to, to do that. And then there are things that you can do to make the, the, uh, the clicker sort of a social ex uh, ex experience by having students talk amongst themselves while they're doing the, the clicker question. So that's one thing that you can do. But uh, also, the, it, it, allow, it gives you feedback on whether the material that you think you're really explaining really well actually got through to the students or not. Uh, the other thing I do is, uh, in this vein of interactive teaching, I, I give lots of quizzes and exams before they get to the final exam. Now, the easiest way to teach a course is if you give a midterm and a final, there's nothing to grade hardly. Uh, you don't have to make up so many exams. It's easy. It's the easiest way to teach a course, but if you do that, if a student misses up the midterm, they're pretty much done for. Uh, and, uh, and, and at that point, uh, it, there's not, not really much they can do at that point. It's a little too late. And then we have this concept of, and this happens a lot, and I, I know I used to do this when I was in college, you know, you, the, the cramming of the, uh, of the general chemistry material the night before the exam the uh, the sleepless night and and you know you memorize everything for the exam and then you get to the exam and nothing comes out of your hand um, so um, if you uh, if you th what I do instead of giving a midterm and a final is I give lots of quizzes in between exams and I give lots of exams before you get to the to the final I mean I don't give a lot I give like three but nevertheless there's multiple opportunities to fail and what's nice about having multiple opportunities for the students to fail before they get to the final exam, well, what this does is it gives uh, me the opportunity to understand whether the students are understanding the material or not. If the students aren't understanding the material, I can change things around. I can go over the material in more depth. Uh, I can slow things down. Uh, if the students are all doing really, really well, I can just speed up the class rate and so on. Um, and um, and, the, and then the other thing it does is it also gives the students uh, information. And the information that the students are getting is I put on quizzes and exams things that every chemist thinks that all students who get out of general chemistry or students who get out of organic chemistry should be able to do. And the, when the students see this showing up on exams and quizzes, they know that these are things that I think are very important that they learn to do. So that by the time we get to the end of the semester, instead of having panicked students cramming the night before the exam uh, and not having studied for months and flunking the class, you actually have students who have lots of information about what they need to do. They've been practicing all year long. So that by the time they get to the final exam, they're actually not flunking the class. Um, and um, I think uh, that it's possible for any student to do very, very well in general and organic chemistry. And I think it's the job of the teacher 
to uh, to facilitate uh, students being able to do well. And I think it, it's it's really a wonderful thing to be able to do because, you know, you're 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 uh, training the next generation of students to do wonderful things with their lives, and uh, you're not losing all these uh, the ninety percent of students who maybe weren't all that keen on on uh, on science and chemistry you're inspiring them and you're making it easier for them to get to their dream job. And I think it's a wonderful challenge and I, I love doing it. Uh, thank you.